Okay, the first thing you want to do before you do this is unhook the battery because it'll do two things. It'll prevent any uh, shorts or any problems when you're first when you're plugging in the O2 sensor and when you're disconnecting it. And second of all, if you unplug the battery, when you hook it back up, your engine light should be off. And then if it comes back on, you know there's still a problem after you fix it. But if it doesn't, then hopefully you fix the problem. Here's the oxygen sensor, the upstream oxygen sensor. You can see it through the wheel well. This is on the passenger side. I'm going to spray a little oil on here to help loosen it. I ordered a 7 8 O2 sensor remover tool off the internet. There was a couple of them. One was like 7 something, but uh, the reviews weren't very good, so I paid the $10, $10 and something for the better one. fingers I think. Okay I'm gonna have to unplug the O2 sensor if you can see the plug runs up and goes into the engine over there. I'm probably not gonna be able to film unplugging it so you're just gonna have to find it yourself and unplug it and then try to plug the new one in. It might be a little bit difficult but that's what I gotta do. So this is the new plug. I'm gonna, I imagine the old plug has a little button I have to press down to un, to pull it out. So that's gonna be a little bit difficult since it's really hard to see up there. Okay, so we got the old plug unplugged. It took us quite a while. We got the new one plugged in. Here we go. So I just gotta finish unscrewing the old O2 sensor. Here's the old O2 sensor. Since this is already plugged in, I'm going to twist it the opposite direction that I'm going to screw it in. Tight, hand tightened already. I use the Bosch oxygen sensor number 15717 for the upstream oxygen sensor replacement. Yo, see all my videos and music videos on YouTube on the Psychoto channel. Do it.